In Modern Words, Episode 1, Helaman, Chapter 1. The year is 40 ROJ, and stuff is difficult with the Nephites. Bahorin, the chief judge, basically the Nephite president, left the chat. He died. Now everyone expects one of his sons to be the next president. The sons are Bahorin Jr., Poncho, and Pac-Man. The other sons weren't popular enough to be the president. Because these three sons are the cool dudes, the Nephites split into three groups. Team Junior, Team Poncho, and Team Pac-Man. Team Junior has the most support, so Junior becomes the president. Pac-Man is chill and thinks Junior is dope, so he's cool with not being the president, and Team Pac-Man supports Junior. But Poncho isn't happy that people don't respect him, so he gets Team Poncho together, and they decide they're going to kill Junior and Pac-Man and make Poncho the president. But someone in Team Poncho is a snitch and tells Junior, so Poncho is brought to court and they vote to kill him, so he gets yeeted for trying to take over. Rip Poncho. Team Poncho isn't happy that their mascot is dead, so they ask this guy called Kissy Face to go shank Junior. Kissy Face walks up to Junior and says, hey man, hold this knife, and stabs him. Junior's guards run after Kissy Face, but Kissy Face has got to go fast and gets out of there faster than any of them. Kissy Face hides out with the Poncho Club and tells them that he wrecked Junior, and they make an evil pinky promise to not tell anyone. Kissy Face had a fake mustache on when he yeeted Junior, so no one knew it was him. So Kissy Face and the Poncho Club begin to act normal and whistle casually, but some of them forgot to, got found out, and got wrecked by the government. (laughs) Rip them. Since he was so dope, Pac-Man becomes the new president, and they celebrate a happy new year as we enter 41 ROJ. In 41 ROJ, more difficult stuff happens. The Lame Knights made a huge pile of soldiers with big swords and bows and armor and shields. They came to fight against the Nephites, and their leader is this dude called Applecore Tumor, the great-grandson or something of the OG Zarahelmet who founded the city of Zarahelmet. Also, Applecore Tumor used to be a Nephite, but now he's evil. And swole as heck. The king of the Lame Knights is this guy called Innertube, who is the son of a moron. He basically says, you know, despite the fact that he's kind of ugly, Apple Core Tumor is swole as heck and is obviously a genius with a head like that, so I'm going to send him in and he'll wreck the Nephites and we'll take over. So he puts Apple Core in charge of the armies and ships him off to Zara Helmet to fight him. Thanks to the Poncho Club and Kissy Face causing pranks and messing with the president, Zara Helmet is kind of weak. So Apple Core Tumor brings his pile of lame knights so heckin' fast that the Nephites have no time to react. Mr. Tumor cuts down the watch guards on the edge of town and busts in with his big pile which crushes the Nephites and they take over Zara Helmet. Pac-Man is freaking out because the city is taken over, so he decides to run, but Applecore is heckin' fast, as we established before, and he picks up Pac-Man and throws him against the wall over and over and over until he game overs. Rip Pac-Man. Once Pac-Man is yeeted, Applecore Tumor realizes the Nephites are totally wasted and it was all thanks to him. He's like, whoa, I'm pretty dope. I'm just going to copy and paste this on every city nearby. So Applecore Tumor leaves Zara Helmet and heads for Bounty Towel. He yeets, pones, wastes, and wrecks every city he comes through before they can even get ready because he is heckin' fast. Rip Nephites. Man, this sucks. But Moreau and iPad has a plan. Moreau and iPad basically made a donut with his armies because he figured the Lame Knights would try to attack the edges first. But the Lame Knights prefer Kalachis and totally ignored the donut and cut to the middle, taking over Zara Helmet and a bunch of other cities, kicking the butts of all the people in all the cities. Moreau and iPad realizes this sucks, but he's got a backup plan. He calls up his homie Nehi and says, Close this donut. Nehi says, Sure, bro, and then smacks the big pile of Lame Knights across their collective faces, and then collectively say, Aight, I'ma head out and get the heck out of there. But Moreau and iPad is the sprinkles on this donut and hits them from the other side. A bunch of people leave the chat for good, and Applecore Tumor is ultimately wrecked to death. <sighs> Rip Applecore. The Lame Knights can't get out because they're stuck in the donut hole and are really wishing they had a Kalachi instead. The Lame Knights are all like, yo, Applecore Tumor led us into this trap and now he's stuck, so I guess uh, we're going to surrender. Moreau and iPad and Nehi take back Zero Helmet and tell the Lame Knights to stop being lame, and then they let the Lame Knights go home. And thus we celebrate another happy new year as 42 ROJ begins. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is sort of an experimental project I did based off a spiritual impression that I received uh, to try to make the scriptures more engaging and more interesting. In case you're wondering where to find this, this is, like I said before, in the Book of Mormon, Helaman, Chapter 1. Uh, and if you'd like to read more of the exciting adventures of <laughs> uh, Junior and the Poncho Club and uh, Moreau and iPad, then uh, just read the scriptures. 
And uh, the names might sound slightly different, but the story is almost essentially the same. So uh, thank you guys so much for listening, and uh, see you later.